Greetings. They don't want to speak to you concerning purification for manifestation. I don't want to use the analogy of a farmer taking care of the land. Before he can sow seed and get a bountiful harvest, he must clear the land. He must remove the things that would block the growth of the seed that he is going to sow. So too with your mind. When the truth of manifesting your reality consciously comes to you, the very first thing you have to do is to purify yourself, cleanse yourself from all of your limiting beliefs, all of your doubts, all of your fears, all of the old up, um, upbringing that you receive from others who had a limited mindset, who had a mindset of doubt and fear and guilt and shame, especially those who had a religious and superstitious mindset. And they try to program you with that same religious and superstitious mindset. Those are the obstacles that you have to remove. Those are the stumbling blocks. They are distractions in your life. And you have to remove those distractions so that your manifesting will be done effortlessly. You see, most people forget about the purging and the cleansing. Even a physical woman. Every month you have to go through a process of cleansing. And she's controlled by the moon. And the ocean also controls the moon. Then we have to align ourselves with the sun and the moon. We have to align ourselves with nature because we are all connected and we all work as one. And so too, you have to learn to cleanse your mind. And one way to do that is that you have to be willing to unlearn. You must be willing also to relearn and be willing to reprogram your subconscious mind in terms of changing your belief system that was not bringing any good into your life. So anything that has been robbing you of your abundance, anything that has been robbing you of your joy and your peace, Anything that has been robbing you from living the life that you always want to live. You have to remove that out of your life. And that is why when it comes to alchemy, it's all about purification and becoming God in terms of discovering your God self, your higher self, your creative self. But there must first be a purification. So, for those of you who are raised to have a religious and superstitious mentality, you have to be willing to cleanse yourself from those kind of beliefs because they will definitely block you. For example, if you are raised to have blind faith and to believe in an entity outside of yourself and you've been also taught to speak to a savior outside of yourself, it feels very hard to you to shut up and to absorb the silence and to practice meditation and visualization and going into the silence especially if you've been told by the religious ones that that is wrong if you've been told that that is witchcraft if you've been told all the other things that they use to keep you in fear if you've been told those things and you absorb them you believe them and you become close-minded and never allow yourself to be open-minded and to learn by experience then you will never be really and truly purified. And so there are people who want to hold on to their idols and yet they want to manifest. And when they manifest, they want to give praises to their idol. But when you realize that it is based on your mind and how your mind really works and that everything that is happening on the outside is based on what takes place for us on the inside because it's not to force their thought. It had to first be an idea. It had to first be imagined. Then you will realize that the greatest purification or detoxification is the detoxification of the mind. Because you have to detox your mind. Why is it that people have toxic relationships in life? Whether is it a sexual relationship or a business relationship or whatever relationship. That toxic, 
toxicity comes from one's mentality, from one's psyche, as you think. That is why it's very important for you to understand as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. That is very, 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 very deep. That aphorism is a key to teach you that you are the Lord and Master of your destiny. Because it is your own thoughts that is creating your reality and creating your personality. That is why purification is key. So you would be able to attack the things in your life with integrity. You will attract the things in your life without hurting anyone. And so some people, before they purify themselves, and they still have anger, they have hatred, doubt, and they have guilt, you know, they, 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 they have um, things towards others, and so on. And with all of that negativity, they still want to manifest, and so they manifest things in a negative way. And things come to them in a negative way, and they have negative outcomes while manifesting what they want to manifest by coming some sort of repercussions. And these are the same people who go back and speak bad things about manifestation and, and so on, because they never really understand that this thing that you use to heal is the same thing you can use, or the same power, I should say, that you use to heal is the same thing you can use to hurt. You see, night is just the reverse of day. And that's why evil is just the reverse of good. And good is just the reverse of evil. You see? It's one power. It's one coin. But the coin have a head and he have a tail. But it's still the one coin says so there's one power. That's why you're told that I am God and there's no other. I kill and I make a life. I wound and I heal. You see? So this power called wound and you can heal. And, 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 and you have to understand that. That's why you have to always purify your mind every single day so that you would not vibrate on the things that you do not want in your life. You guard your mind and you focus only on the things that you want to manifest in life, only the things that are going to bring you the good in life, the things that are going to help you to be happy and joyful. That is why you are told that whatsoever things are good, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are true, you must think on these things. But many people read that book and think it's a book of morality when it is basically a book of psychology. So the Bible is actually a book of mind science. So my brother and my sisters, understand the science of mind and use your mind to cleanse and purify your life and live your life whichever way you want it to be. And most likely everyone want to live their life sumptuously just as nature Everyone wants to align themselves with nature and they want to bring forth bountifully. So with that said, my brother, my sister, I want to thank you very much for listening to me. I want to say to you, if this is the very first step that you listen to me, what I'm saying, if it makes sense, if it really resonates with you and you have a subscriber, already, I'm definitely encouraging you to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. Also, if you like to follow me on Instagram, I like to follow me on TikTok, you can definitely follow me at Black Mad Guru. And I will also encourage you to get my latest book. It's called The Secret Vagina. Mystery of the virgin birth and most people only see birth as bringing forth a child But do you realize that all the inventions and the great things in this world are making this world a better place? They are the brain child that have come forth from others and so, so too when you understand the Metaphysical and esoteric understand of the Bible and understand the Bible psychologically then you will understand you have to bring forth everything from your psyche and that's about also and so when you understand the immaculate conception you will understand how thoughts become things and you will understand that your spirit having a human experience and so you will realize that even money and all the other things that people call materialistic that they are spiritual okay you will realize it is energy that have been transmuted into matter okay so i definitely encourage you to get a book plus uh, spiritual recipe for better living and my other books okay check out all of the links that are down below and it will provide you with all the information that you would need also if you want to be a part of my patreon community you're most welcome i have a course there that's called the inner sun science and technology to create your reality consciously and along with that is a bonus course and self-concept and that is what people are donating 20 or more dollars and that's why i'm showing you that the sun parallels the human imagination the human imagination parallels the sun for without the sun there's no life and there's no light and without the human imagination there's anything made that was made and you're told that the lord that guy is a son a s-u-n and a shield and no good thing with he withhold from you when the sun has never withhold its goodness 
from all of humanity. And you can definitely be a part of the sun, the inner sun science and technology that you can definitely use to create your reality consciously. So I will come to a close here by saying to you, please go and check out all of the links that are down below and let your intuition lead you and guide you into what to do. So with that being said, I just want to say peace, love you all, I'm out.